Ciao. Hello everybody, this is Guiding Halo, and this is going to be your daily hope for the 22nd of October. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for your support on the channel. I truly appreciate it. And for your support in general. I love how you guys are reaching out to others in the comments and being there for support and understanding. I just truly appreciate that. It's so very kind of you guys. Let's see what's happening. What what messages to spirit have today for my beautiful friends? The horse, freedom, your heart is pure and free. A greater purpose calls you. You have unlimited reserves of stamina and strength to follow the winds of change and accomplish your dreams. I think somebody's looking at uh possibly strategizing a way to start some sort of dream or something they've got going on there's change coming and you have the strength and stamina to to get through it just fine perhaps you've been single for quite some time or or looking at becoming single or leaving a job situation in order to go out on your own the metal king discipline are more boundaries so this is definitely the beginning of a new start here. Creating boundaries to still have your freedom while yet being committed to bringing about what the divine requires in your life. All right. Another card, please. To go with horse freedom, your heart is pure and free. Happiness, immense delight can be found in the smallest of things. Cultivate fluttering moments of joy. Hmm. So looking at the positive in every situation, finding joy in both the ups and the downs, and the circles and the everything else, in the sweetness that you find all of a sudden that you weren't expecting because you're tuned in and you follow that. It's like your senses are on fleek. Appreciate this moment. Each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love. I swear, if this is the same card that came out in the last couple readings, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> Just because it's nice to have a different one, but I guess, you know, if it, it is what it is. <laughs> All right, so. Appreciate this moment. So something's going on about setting you free and having the freedom to move forward in some sort of way. Now, do you actually view it as a good thing? That's the question. Dearest you, we are a chatty bunch over here, always talking about how to support you in your life's journey. We communicate to you through the language of oracles, dreams, signs, metaphors, and omens. In your life on earth, however, clarity in your communication is essential to being understood. You don't speak in symbols, and if you did, you would definitely confuse things. Right now, you're facing a situation in which you're, asked to, you're being asked to have integrity. Be clear and learn how to ask for your needs to be met. The first step is to admit out loud that you have needs. The second is to ask out loud for them to be met. And the third is to allow the other person, organization, or even us to answer you. When you follow these steps, you can most definitely expect an answer. In your favor, affirmative, we say. Loving you so, so very much. So it's about asking, perhaps, for some freedom of the situations that you've been very tied to. Um... Or perhaps you've been given your freedom and you're not exactly sure how to deal with that said freedom you've been given. Let's read the Metal King. Card number 37, which equals a 10. And this is card number 33, which equals a 6. So we have 333 three, three here. We have a very spiritual situation that your, your 
uh, new start. There's a new start here, and I think there's concern about controlling the amount of effort you give into something. And perhaps it's a matter of asking for your needs to be met in this way and to communicate clearly your needs for freedom, your needs for following what you feel your purpose is, you know, your needs for doing something greater in this world and in this life. There's change afoot, my friends. And it's about you accomplishing your dreams. It's also about you taking the time to understand that there are beautiful things in front of you that happen in each moment. And you need to honor that. And, and it's about appreciating this moment. Look at that. Cultivating fluttering moments of joy. Appreciate this moment. Appreciate this brand new moment of beginning the new, of stepping into the new. Perhaps you're stepping into your freedom. Perhaps you want your freedom and you need to ask for your needs to be met in that area. Metal King, card number 37. Let's read it. Be mindful of codependency and enmeshment with when the Metal King comes as your challenger. He's inviting you to address how overwhelming you may be around how out the He's inviting you to address how overwhelmed you may be around other people. Do you pick up their feelings like a sponge? Do you feel the need to heal them so that you feel better? Get grounded. Be clear about your own personal boundaries and restrain yourself when you feel like jumping in to help without being asked. This is also a warning against forming unhealthy relationships in any area of your life. So someone seeking their freedom, perhaps, because they see a challenge in a relationship or feel a little on the codependent side or are very concerned about getting in a relationship because you feel you may err on the codependent side. The Metal King is strong and arrives to lend you his impenetrable shield of protection. No matter who sends you criticism or jealousy, you will not be hurt. This ally also prompts you to think about setting healthy boundaries. When you do, no matter how uncomfortable, that task may be every... I'm sorry... When you do, no matter how uncomfortable that task may be, everyone will benefit. He asks you to make sure you know where you end and another begins. Others' emotions are not yours, no matter how empathic you may be. Another of the Metal King's messages is to remind you how important it is to have a healthy sense of self-esteem. It's a good time to shine and be proud of what you have accomplished. So this truly is about you or somebody, or all someones is stepping into something new. Uh, it could be stepping into leaving a relationship. It could be stepping into a relationship, but still having the freedom that you seek in some way, shape, or form. Very concerned about having healthy boundaries, uh, whether codependency is an issue or... It could even be having boundaries and setting, putting your foot down where someone's addictions are concerned and all of that sort of thing. Immense delight can be found in the smallest of things. Cultivate fluttering moments of joy. It's about happiness. It's about creating the beautiful, the alchemical magic of, of a brand new something whether it's a job or whichever, whether you're concerned about having your freedom in a job, whether you're concerned about having boundaries and lines that are, are laid out with an employer, whether, whether it's about standing up for yourself and bringing about the happiness that you seek in your life, you need to be able to have the freedom to fly and to have the freedom to create so that you don't feel like you're enmeshed in a situation that you can't move from or move around in while you're in this whole situation thing and the divine's asking you to appreciate this moment each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love so it's about growing it's about understanding it's about understanding that other people in have their boundaries as well and perhaps you're dealing with somebody who is has an attachment issue and that's why you need to set up boundaries perhaps you have somebody in your life who doesn't want to 
to um, give up their freedom in some way, shape or form. And it's about meeting them where they're at. It's, a, it's an opportunity to grow and understand where people come from and to find love in the moment and in the person in the same, at the same time as you're actually having freedom. Now, this is a very, very interesting balance to, to bring about for sure. And the best way that you can create this for yourself is to have the integrity, integrity to be clear and learn how to ask for your needs to be met. That, that's the first start to creating healthy boundaries in any way, shape, or form, whether you're asking the divine to meet your needs, whether you're asking and being clear about that, what you feel your needs are, you know, asking out loud for them to be met as well, not just saying, you know, waiting till something builds up the pressure cooker and then you blow and say, you know what, I've had enough, I need my freedom, I need this, I need that, I can't handle this anymore. It's about being upfront, upfront, close, close and personal at the very beginning of something. Being very open and explaining what your needs are and how it is you want to move through whatever situation this is, whether work, relationship, whichever. Creating a new project, perhaps in a situation you're getting into a uh, creating something new in a job or a, a passion of yours and you still want to have the freedom to be able to go about doing other stuff and perhaps someone would like you to sign a contract but there can be freedom within the boundaries you just have to ask for it and understand that just it doesn't always have to be a no and don't assume this is where we get stuck is that we assume that in signing a contract that we're going to be tied to every little thing. It doesn't necessarily have to be that way. It can actually, you can have a lot of room to grow, to learn, and to become the beauty of who you're meant to be while still in a contract. All right. Blessings to you and I'll talk to you again soon. I hope this resonated.